Hang on, I forgot my backlight. Loom Cube 2.0. Ah, oh, come on, don't be dead. Ah, okay. Whew, that was close. Okay, put that right about there. <laughs> Except for now I'm blinded. Blinded by the light. All right, so today's video has been brought to you by the sun. <laughs> Hang on. Oh my gosh. I really cannot see. That light behind me is really bright. So now we know that the Loom Cube is really bright. Today's video has been unofficially sponsored by Portland Bee Balm. If you're at the Portland airport and you just happen to be flying on through, mm, that is good stuff. Those Portland bees, they know what they're doing. I'm going to leave that right there in the background on top of my Leica. All right, so I was gonna film this intro on the Insta360 One RS twin camera. However, the audio is a bit echoey and I get better audio through this Rode Wireless Go. It takes me an extra, okay, a minute to set up. Yeah, I, I do like this one and we'll be reviewing it again soon. So today I am not just Pietro Herget and Gadgets Anonymous or Peter Herget and Gadgets Anonymous or Gadgets Anonymous with Peter Herget. I am the man with two watches and we have one question. Should I work out today? Should you work out today? And does your gadget, your ring or, or rings, your Fitbit tracker, does it tell you whether or not you should work out? If, <laughs> big if, if you bought your gadget after 2019, there's a good chance it might. If you bought it in 2020, 2021, it better. If you buy anything in the year 2020, which is this current year, if you're buying something in July or next month, August, don't buy it if it doesn't have recovery time and lets you know whether or not you should be working out today. Recovery time is different because if you don't work out for a whole week, you'll say recovery time zero. But how did you sleep last night? The recovery time and your readiness status, those are the two key factors and those are based off boom, 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 boom. your heart rate, your sleep, your age, your, your diet, your body mass index score, BMI. Yeah, is that a real thing still? Yeah, those things are really important. I'm trying to stay on topic here. Let's find out if I should have worked out today and if I can work out more. Here we go, ready? We're going to, yeah, well, all my notes are in this thing. Shh. Subject number one is my trusty Phoenix 7X. Oh, it already has it. So eight, awesome. So now we click back, scroll back, take off the watch, Peter. I always forget to do this. I wonder if we turn off the lamp, if we'll get less glare. Is that better? Scroll up and save. Guinea pig number two, the Sunto 9. This is what they call the Gen 1 Black. And then this is the Sapphire Solar Edition that I got in January, February of this year. And guinea pig number two is the Aura Ring. Uh, just this one, because I have it connected to my iPhone. Is it still going? Yeah, I forgot to end that workout. Hang on. End workout, syncing session data. It's really hard to remember to stay in frame. Good pacing, duration, one hour, 45 minutes. Nice, gives me a nice map. We have heart rate, average pace, average calorie burn. We also have the chart of the heart rate and intensity and splits. I can click edit workout. I can change it. I can say moderate. It was actually, to be honest, it was kind of easy, but it was hot. So sorry, not going to show you the map and that's it. So we close that. It says good pacing with an average heart rate of 92. This was a nice workout for reinforcing your good readiness score. Now treat yourself with a well-deserved rest to initiate recovery. Show more details. Oh, okay. So we have activity goal progress. I'm done for the day. Heart rate, okay. 
Now, if I go to readiness, this is what I was talking about, readiness score. My resting heart rate, 54. Heart rate vil blah, 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 blah. very albeolity, 32 ms. Body temperature, respiratory rate, readiness score, 74. Hmm, what does that mean? We'll circle back to that. Now we look at Shunto. Oh, did you see that? When you take off the watch, it turns the face off. Garmin, you should do that. So now we have this bad boy. So we scroll down and we have heart rate. Okay, stressed. Those are my steps. Training, okay. Training plan. All activities. What about my recovery? I'm still learning this one. This is day six with this gadget. Okay, there's my sleep, not that great. Okay, I'll find it, I promise. Maybe it was on the first one. Nope, that's music controls. Battery life, getting kind of low. Heart rate, heart rate. Where's my recovery? Oh my gosh, this is making me look really bad. Okay, stressed, yeah, okay. But what, yeah, that's my training plan. Okay, I'm gonna cheat, let's look in the app. So the app is pretty cool. Oh, you know what? If you can't get the watch to synchronize, go to normal settings, scroll on down to settings, so general settings, then scroll down to connectivity, turn off airplane mode. There we go. So now you're gonna see this little icon do its thing, syncing one of one activity. It synchronizes really well. I have not had any Bluetooth issues with this. So that is good. Yeah, I put it in airplane mode last night, but yet it still woke me up this morning. I slept with it on my right wrist and at three in the morning after getting a drink of water, it was like lighting up and it woke me up. It really ticked me off. There we go. So we got our walk, nice. One soon to activity. This week, one hour and 29. I like the summary page. Training day. So we have the hiking, steps. Okay, looks like it's still synchronizing. Okay, there's a map of where I hiked. Add comment. I can say went hiking, comma, walking through city streets with Stefano. Send. So then that gets shared with people that follow me. 4.32 kilometers, noise, duration, average speed. You can see all that wonderful data. And then I can make that visible to followers or my public. It's my choice. So I'll just say public for now. Sure. Heart rate zones, nice. We can view those on the map. Altitude, very nice. Speed, very nice. Vertical speed, previous on a route, very cool. Lap info, it's all there. I can quickly do average heart rate, pace, cadence, accumulated distance. Very, 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 very detailed. And I'll give myself a thumbs up. And I can swipe right. We have max speed, heart rate, PTE, epoch. And then if I click on that, it explains what epoch is. If I click on that, it explains what PTE is. And of course, the TSS rate. And then we have recovery, four hours, okay. So we have four hour recovery, that's really important. Now what are we focused on? One, recovery, and two, readiness, based upon your sleeping habits, based upon your heart rate, your resting heart rate, whether or not you're hydrated, your diet, your age, how you're feeling, uh, did you just get a checkup and you have high blood pressure? You have to take in so many variables before you can really say, should I work out? And that's different from moving. Well, at least for me. For me, a workout is, you know, 40 minutes to an hour. Just walking two miles was not a workout, but it's still movement. And if I'm really, really tired going on five hours of sleep, I don't know why I'm looking at my naked wrist, <laughs> then it is a workout and it's still good for me. And, it's, and it clears my mind so I can come back and do, do my QA thing. Okay, so recovery time, four hours by Sunto, got that. Now, if we go back to the Aura Ring, there is no recovery time, but tomorrow, when I wake up, I'll be able to check that readiness score, and hopefully it says more than 74. I've had it up to 98, which means, one, I haven't worked out in a long time, or two, I'm fully, fully recovered 
from past days. I'm sleeping well, my ticker is doing well, and the ring has figured out, yes, you can work out today. So that's good to know. So Aura will tell you the following day and day today. So if I overdo it, I'm at 686 calories burned. If I go too much on my activity score, yeah, the, the app is gonna yell at me. <laughs> so right now it says my activity score is optimal. If I go back, it will say my bedtime today is, your ideal bedtime is between 21.15 and 22.30. If you're not in the military time, that's 9.15 and 10.30. I'm gonna shoot for 10 o'clock. I can never, if I go to bed at nine in the afternoon, nine in the evening, it's like going to bed in the afternoon. That's just not gonna roll. Okay, and it says readiness. 74, good. Tonight's a new night. You didn't sleep well last night, but don't worry, you'll be fine. Try to take it easy today and make up time for sleep. Now, if we go to the sleep score of yesterday, boom, 87. Day before that, on Sunday, 88. So it all adds up. And if you've heard this before, so today is, uh, what's today? Tuesday. I'm not really going on the sleep I got last night. More so, my body's going off the sleep I got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Monday night is, you know, that's a big variable. So if you know that you're going to be sleeping poorly one night, you can pad your sleep, you know, prepare yourself. Sleep well the nights before. That's good stuff. So right there, you've learned something. And that sound in the background, that is the notification sound from this. The quick way to turn that off is you do a long press on the clock, and then you just click on Do Not Disturb. So you just click that button once, it toggles the little radio button there, and now it won't do that. Now, it doesn't have a feature where you can just do not disturb me for an hour and stuff, like iPhone and Apple and Samsung. I wish it did. So, Sunto, you guys over in Finland, please add that. Okay, let's look at the recovery time from this bad boy, the Phoenix. So we just scroll down, and so there's our sleep, right? Oh, let's switch the view. That's better. So there's our sleep. We have our sleep score, 72, not bad. Consistent with what Aura says, and there's all my stuff, right? Oh, what was that? Deep sleep, almost an hour. For me, that's pretty good. So we have heart rate, we have resting heart rate. If I swipe up, 61 last night, 57. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Steps, blah, 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 but we keep going down, down, down. Trading status, run outdoors. I'm not running right now. Notice status, keep scrolling, keep sc Whoa, my VO2 max is down to 36. It was up to 45, that's a bummer. Load, high aerobic shortage. Recovery, zero hours. Well, that's good. You are almost, you are almost fully recovered. So I shouldn't exercise right now, but it wants me to wait. And then if I keep scrolling, Oh, you know why? That's weird that it says five hours and 55 minutes. Earlier today, it said no sleep data, so I don't know if it recorded the right bedtimes. Hold on a minute. It's good to take this out of airplane mode when you wake up. I'm really particular about my sleep, and if the gadget has airplane mode, I utilize it. So now it's synchronizing. There we go. Got it to synchronize. I'll synchronize it once more. So there's uh, my walk. I named it Passeggiata con Stefano. Little boots on there. Very nice. So we have map. We have the detailed pace. Really, really great details. Very similar to Shunto. Even temperature. And if I go into the workout, click on the little hamburger, edit activity, I can answer how did it go, and I can say, well. Trim activity, privacy, uncategorized, I'm just gonna say fitness, show more data, fluid net, really cool stuff. So Garmin,
based upon my age and all that fun stuff, will let me know how much I should drink. Okay, now if we scroll down, sleep. There we go. What time did it say I went to bed last night? 11.43, that is not right. So edit. I went to bed closer to 11.15. And then I woke up closer to six. Save. So now it's gonna recalibrate. My sleep score was 72, 75, nice. Shorter than ideal, continuous. Your length of sleep was a bit shorter than recommended, but you had good continuous sleep. By keeping awake time to a minimum, you helped improve your mood and memory. Oh yeah. Let's see if it changed my deep sleep. Ah, 59 still, that's so good. Okay, so we've refreshed that, we've resynchronized it. So now let's check the recovery time again. So again, scroll down, click on training status. And even if you've done a walking workout, this should update. Okay, it's the same. So for some reason, this one's giving me the okay to do a workout in another hour, where Sunto is saying four hours, and the infamous Aura Ring is saying, I'm okay staying active, but I really should take it easy today. I mean, if you scroll on down and look at readiness, good job avoiding long periods of inactivity yesterday. Moving regularly throughout the day keeps your blood flowing, which is good for your overall health. Yeah, and just based on how I'm feeling, but it doesn't full on say, oh, that was Saturday. <laughs> My bad, let's try it today. Activities, readiness. Okay, try to take it easy today and make time for sleep tonight. Okay. A bit confusing, kind of, but not really. And that's one thing my friend Stefan and I have been talking about. Aura rings, sometimes you have to dig deep. I, I wish it would just tell you, and I, I really like just the set hour. Recovery time, four hours. Recovery time, maybe another half an hour because it says I'm almost fully recovered. So I shouldn't do a long bike ride. Oh, my hinge is all squeaky. Or you gotta dig a bit. I mean, yeah, so I'm tempted to just push myself, go for maybe a half an hour bike ride, crank it up to 25 miles an hour, and see what happens. Yeah, that would be fun. Hmm. Allow me to pontificate for another 30 minutes, maybe an hour. I need to go finish testing the entire state of, is it Missouri, Massachusetts? Yeah, Massachusetts. We're uh, doing some new software. That's all I can tell you. New stuff coming to e-recording. That, that's it. That's all I can tell you because of confidentiality. But new stuff. Probably you won't see it this month. You'll see it later this You'll see it sometime in the next year. <laughs> I'll just say that. And yeah. Which gadget do I trust the most? I can tell you that. Why I pontificate about working out. Is it Garmin? Is it Shunto? Or is it the magic ring on my index finger? Now, both of these are from Finland. Off the top of my head, I don't know the true origin of Garmin. Should I trust the finish? To be honest, I just balance it out. I wear the ring because I like that second opinion to back up the recovery time on Garmin. And if Garmin says four hours and my readiness score is 74, yeah. But Garmin's saying maybe a half an hour, readiness score is 74, based upon my cognitive ability today and just kind of things going on in my life, I'm going to take it easy the rest of the day. I, I've pontificated enough in the back of my head while I was talking to you and I'm just going to, I'll probably go on a mile walk with the uh, GSP and call it a day. So there you go. One, does your gadget give you a readiness score? Garmin doesn't. And Sunto, I, I looked in the app, I didn't see a readiness score from Sunto. 
Let's look again real quickly. We have followers. Okay, that's the workout. It's just, yeah, it says training day. It has my number of commutes, has my calories burned, keeping fit. Okay. Uh, it, resources now. It said my sleep score was a quality of 43. That's pretty crappy. Oh, I'm sorry, 62. Ugh. Yeah, to be honest, the sleep analysis by uh, Sunto, you need to drive across town and have a meeting with Aura, and you guys should get together. The combination between Sunto and Aura, oh, that would be a Finnish masterpiece. So it says daily activity resources low. Does that mean it wants me to work out more? It's quite unclear. And I'm not seeing the recovery time. Hang on a second. Swipe. Sometimes the app gets a bit sticky. Okay, so there's my workout. There's hiking. Hiking today. Where's my recovery? Yes, right there. Four hours. That is so awesome that at least Sunto shows in the app. And then of course, as I go down, if I check this in another hour, it will say recovery, three hours and so on. Now, if something happens and I work out more, that recovery will go up. Garmin has proven that. And Aura Ring, if I work out too much tonight and then have a horrible night of sleep, not just quality or quantity, it's a combination of both, Aura will give me a low readiness score and again, advise me to take it easy. Anyway, there you go. I hope that made sense. And I hope your gadget, hopefully it's a Garmin or Suntu, Suntu, did I say Suntu? I'm so sorry. Hopefully it's a Garmin or a Sunto, and maybe you're rocking the Aura Ring. Let me know what you think. And if you think or you feel that gadgets give us a really good indication, are they giving us the insight that we're ready to work out, that we're fully recovered based on sleep and hydration and diet and yeah. I imagine probably by the year 2030, here's my prediction, they're gonna have this little chip you just put in the back of your neck and that's gonna just tie into your central nervous system and it'll track everything. It'll be information overload and then it's just gonna be which app, which company is gonna what's the word, uh, research and interpret that data and give it to you in a usable format. As far as easy, easy to use, I would also say Garmin is the easiest. Sunto, you have to click around a little bit. And Aura, they're, they're trying. They're trying to make it better with the new app layout and you know giving you the bedtime charts and total sleep and more insight on readiness over the last seven days. They're getting there. It's becoming far more user-friendly than it was just a few weeks ago. All right, that's all I got for today's vlog from the Mammoth 2 Watches. I will have another video next week. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate your time. And yes, let those credits roll for the Paramount Kid. And I'll have another video on my other channel, Gadgets Anonymous with Peter Herget about the Sunto, later this week on Thursday, Throwback Thursday. So we're gonna do part two, Sunto, 22 years later. And that's it. Goodbye.
what, what are we focused on? Recovery time and readiness. Now, if you've exercised, okay, 